Hello and welcome to the Sat On My Butt channel. I've got some of the super furry lightweight beard oil for review. Yes, having reviewed and tested and tried and loved the beard polisher in the sin and tonic scent, I've now got it in the lightweight beard oil. And yes, there's a reason I normally hold up the bottle and wave it, don't I, show you what I've got. I love Ivan's new branding. It looks really good on the labels, but, yep. It's a nightmare for green screens and the work it takes to then try and mask that out while I'm moving it and I just decide don't hold up green things, don't do it. Absolutely love this scent in the beard polisher. Incredible. I could not get across in words just how damn amazing this scent was. Now then, the lightweight beard oil, when it is a lightweight beard oil, made from safflower oil, grapeseed oil and castor seed oil, it's a nice oil. It's too light for me. I prefer, if I'm going to use a beard oil, I prefer a heavier beard oil. And I think I'm causes the uh, furry dandy oils are the heavier beard oils there. Really like those. This is a little bit thin for me. This is a personal opinion. It's a cracking oil. My beard that's a little bit tendency to go mad and messy needs a little bit of taming. And a lightweight oil just isn't quite enough to do that. But nonetheless, as I say, a very nice oil indeed. Now, I said this in my review of the Beard Polisher Sin and Tonic about the scent. I'm going to read out what Ivan, the owner and creator of Super Furry, says about Sin and Tonic and the ingredients in it. Tonic Olibanum from India. Drink and sense. Cedar, rich notes of Italian cypress and Austrian mountain pine. Discreet hints of sinful, precious, got to pronounce this one, arrow, Carrier. Well, that'll do. It's a monkey puzzle tree. So it's the oil from that tree. And rare exclusive Japanese Hinoki Cypress, which is woodsy, slightly lemony scent. And then sacred elemi, with which is a, a resin with a, a pine and lemon scent again. And gum rock rose, which it says is sweet citrus, floral, warm, top notes and slightly woody. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. First thing came in, I'm like, is that a smokiness, as I said? Just absolutely loved it. It was just, I really could not get enough of it and could not get across in mere words how much I loved it. And I've said before how different a scent is in a beard oil to a balm, or in this case, a polisher. In those products that would contain a butter and beeswax, stuff like that, the scents are more muted. I'm not normally a lover of wood scents, but as I say, that one was absolutely amazing. Bring it into the beard oil, and it's so different. It's the same, and yet it's very different. And different enough for me to go, no. No, I don't rave that as much. Strange, isn't it? It's something to consider when buying beard care products. On this one, I'm getting more of that that freshness and that pinesiness coming through first and it's nice but it's it's not one that's for me absolutely incredible this this has kind of made me like I had to keep checking because I was unsure of myself I've been going back between the two going this can't be right but there you go it is right a 50 ml bottle will cost you it's blurry at the moment 19 euros and 90 cents from superfurry.nl. I'll put the full link for the beard oil down there on YouTube in the description and it will be in on the written review at satonmybutt.co.uk. Go and check them out. If you want a nice lightweight oil, check out superfurry.nl. And that is that. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the old channel. I will see you next time. Take care.